What's up America? This is old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel and Fake News Network, FNN, coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. Well, today we're going to talk about whether Starbucks is racially profiling or not. There's been a lot on the news about it and uh, I've been studying it and I went uh, got my staff together on Fake News Network, that's uh, FNN, and did a lot of research on cable news network, that's CNN, and uh, we uh, we're trying to get to the bottom of this story. And uh, CNN obviously is good, just all over this thing like uh, dead flies on a body. I mean, they just jump on every story like this and get on it and everything. And uh, I'm uh, deadly against racial profiling and I'm against uh, racism in, in, uh, in general, uh, not in general, period. But uh, things are just getting out of hand, so I thought I'd do my little report on it. Now, here we go. Uh, two men went into the Starbucks. Now, you notice I said two men, not two men of uh, racial or religious or anything like that. It was two men went into a Starbucks store, and uh, went up. one of them went up to the counter. It's not clear which one, but one of them went up to the counter, and uh, or both of them, and uh, asked if they could use the restroom. And uh, they were told, and we don't know whether they talked directly to the manager or not, but they were told that they had to make a purchase first in order to use the restroom. And uh, so they either just went and sat down or they were, uh, or, or whatever, but anyhow, uh, it's, and again, it's not clear whether they were asked to leave or not, but anyhow, they, uh, the manager, within two minutes, called the police and said, we've got two people in here and they're trespassing, we want to have them escorted out and arrested. And uh, so, uh, lo and behold, after a while, the police came and, and uh, the guys got arrested and taken out. Now, the one I could see on the camera, on the CNN's camera, one of them had a beard. And the other one, I don't remember whether they had a beard or not, I couldn't see him that well. But they were just peaceful and they went on out and they got arrested. Well, that semen in got all over it. It said that it had to be white people hating the black people or something other like that. They didn't say that directly, but. That's kind of what they were getting at, and uh, and uh, so uh, I got to thinking about that, and I thought, well, you know, I got some old biker friends, and uh, I wonder if they was uh, riding up at this Starbucks door, and they was strung out from the road, been riding hundreds and hundreds of miles to go look at some real estate up in that area, and uh, went into the Starbucks, and one of them walked up to the counter there with the bugs in his beard and teeth and said, uh, could I use your restroom? And I uh, wonder if they'd get, uh, again, notice I didn't mention their race or creed or color. And I uh, wonder if they'd get asked to leave too. I don't know. I kind of think they might. They might not. It's hard to say. you got to wonder, you know, well, what's Starbucks doing here? they got a policy, apparently, what I can get from the news, or where you got to ask permission to use the bathroom to keep them locked up. Now, that's reminiscent to me, back, and I'm old. And back in the day, in the 50s or something like 40s or 50s, you'd go into the bathroom, some of them, and uh, you'd have to put a dime in there to go to the bathroom. And man, you go in there and have to go real bad and have no money, you'd crawl under or crawl over and go in there and go to the bathroom. And some people get so mad, they kick the doors in. And so they got so many doors kicked in after a while, they just quit locking them up. Because they figured they wasn't making enough money off of it. So anyways, that's just a little bit of history for you into this thing. So a Starbucks locks up the doors. And uh, you got to make a purchase to get to use the bathroom. So you have to, to, to pay to go to the bathroom again. Same old thing. So uh, anyhow, uh, my perspective on this is the problem really uh, is, isn't, uh, it's, it's what a person thinks about somebody when they come in. Now one of these fellows had a big beard and this, that, and the other. And I might have thought that he was an Arab and not a black person and that he might have just going to put a bomb in the, bathroom. You know, I mean, that could have been what went through this lady's mind. I don't know. You don't know. Only she knows. You know, they say, do something, say something. And anyhow, so, uh, I mean, I followed a lot of people in the bathroom and it seemed to me like they let a bomb off in it. Anyhow, uh, that's what happened. And I'm, I'm uh, going to go on record here and say that I don't think uh, 
they were racially profiled at all. I think Starbucks has a problem in that they're going to lock up their bathroom doors, and right there is a problem that's not racial prof profiling. You can't believe that a company like Starbucks, as big as they are and smart as they are, they're going to put locks on the door because they think that their managers are going to racially profile. They had another reason for it, which was a dumb one, but they had another reason for it, and that's what happened. And the girl was following the policy, and she got fired for it. And uh, I think that's unfortunate, too. So let's don't be so quick about saying that everything that happens is racially profiling and that all white people hate all black people or vice versa. It isn't so. The two gentlemen went on news and said that this was a problem, not just a black and white problem, but an other side problem, and they'd like to see it all addressed. So I'm addressing all of it. Let's stop jumping to conclusions about uh, people uh, if they get shot because they're black or if they get... Uh, arrested for trespassing because 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 uh, they happen to be black, I should have said, or something like that. It ain't all racial profiling. It's ha happening. It's going on. Hate's wrong, and let's stop the hate and start more loving. Jim Bob's out.